A few months ago, a discussion at Autoblog headquarters led to the term mildly spicy cars like the Honda Civic Hatch, the Volkswagen Golf and Mazda 3 aren't quite GTI or Focus Street level hot hatches, but they still provide a great mix of fun, practicality and affordability. The Hyundai Elantra Sport fits the same basic mold, minus the hatchback that's why we were so eager to get behind the wheel of the new Elantra GT Sport same premise, better form factor the Elantra GT and Sudan aren't as closely related as their name might suggest. The GT is actually based on the European i30 hatch, which is why the styling for the two models differs both inside and out think Volkswagen Golf and Jetta the suspension tuning is also slightly different, but both cars share the same turbocharged 1.6 litre inline 4, mated to either a 6 speed manual or a 6 speed dual clutch transmission it's good for 201 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque that's roughly equal to the new 2017 Honda Civic C, though the Honda weighs a few hundred pounds less than the Elantra. Still, the Elantra GT Sport feels just as quick as the Civic C, even with the weight penalty minimal turbo lag means peak torque arrives at just 1,500 rpm from there, power comes on smoothly, with all 201 horses running free at 6,000 rpm the smooth shifter and well-placed clutch are a perfect match for the engine, even if it's not quite as slick as the Honda's the dual clutch is a $1,000 option, but stick with the manual unless you really can't deal with three pedals Michigan Road Roads are known for being flat, straight and pockmarked. Thankfully, Hyundai managed to find some decent pavement just outside of Ann Arbor The Elantra GT Sport uses McPherson struts with twin tube shocks up front with a multi-link independent suspension with monotube shocks out back The standard Elantra GT uses a torsion beam out back, so the difference is noticeable The ride is on the comfortable side of sporty The car dealt with rough pavement well, though these were the best Michigan conditions we could have hoped for